Welcome back, one and all, to Goblin Stone. It's been a couple days since we have been back. Do I think I'm going to put the Goblin Stone playthrough on YouTube? It'll definitely be on the uh, the archives YouTube for sure. Would like to have it uh, preserved in some fashion, although that is going to require me to finish it. So I think first things first is I have to actually Let keep playing it. Our tale. Otherwise, there won't be anything to put on the YouTube. So last time we played, we freed our orc friend from the halflings in a relatively difficult battle. We did have a few deaths, and from what I recall, we a got a couple mortal wounds fuel a strong legion for many recently, enemies. and Gobbler got mortally wounded. Keys don't get... Tools. I think we'll probably retire and gobbler. Get the soul. Have we looked at what the merchant had today. Two fiber available. I like to buy materials from the merchants. Doesn't have very many, but you need as many as you can get. An honest bargain. Anything I want to sell? Not really. We have tons of leather. Let's see if there's anything we can make that involves leather. Currently, we're looking to build what? want to upgrade the war room. And I believe we already specified that the, yes, the campgrounds are being upgraded. This game is called Goblin Stone, once again. Check this out as a sponsored opportunity a, we opportunity a week or so ago, and I've been continuing to enjoy it since then. So we've revisited it and played through a bit more. What is a fiber used for? We upgrade the larder. Yes. That takes leather, but fiber I don't have. Okay, sounds like we need to get some more stuff as usual. Uh, do we look at the recruits here? Only the keen and eager are welcome. Zero body. It's a weak, weak goblin. No, I don't want either of them. Okay, let's to the world map then. See if we can set an expedition forth. Prison burns. The orcs are in peril. Save as many orcs as you can. Let's see if we can do that. There's definitely some XCOM similarities here. I see Pete Digger is also mortally wounded. The veteran peon. Can I change your character class? Yeah, I can. You can become a raider. You're a raider now. This better suits their temperament. We're gonna need a weapon, though. So we can give you a temporary weapon. Apparently, we have no guards. Let's take a uh, hack baller as a guard, and we'll re replace Wisbo with. Let's try Pete Diggler. He's also mortally wounded. We've had a lot of mortally wounded people. Don't worry about that. 
What matters is that Adonis is alive and well. And therefore, everybody is fine. So, here we are upon an expedition. Definitely feels a bit like uh, Darkest Dungeon during these segments. We're picking up loot with limited inventory space. Ready We're moving left and right with all the characters here. And we're trying desperately not to have people get murdered as we go. Start out right away with a new recruit here. Beat Grader. Vlabby Brute. He means less power. Or Fire Zinger. I do want more hunters. Alert Hunter seems okay. Let's choose Fire Zinger. Let me replace uh, Pete Zinger. Pete Digger here. Send the mortally wounded guy home. Adonis will be outscaled by the game, definitely. Over time, for sure. A dark spirit whispers. Place a goblin in the box, but what if we scale Adonis? Bonus effects are permanent. Corrupted goblins are lost forever? What do you mean corrupted? Peerless power. Oh, I but see. Is it enough? Keep going? We risk Adonis? I don't think so. Take the three plus three here. And I think I'm gonna opt for the tough battle. Why does one shrine have a smiley face and one shrine have a frowny face here? See what a tough battle entails these days. Wolves, as usual. Wood's good though. Wooden fiber, we needed those. These will be put to good use. Alright, classic three timber wolf fight. We've seen this quite a few times before. So a brief overview of combat in Goblin Stone. Um, initiative works in a somewhat interesting way. Every unit has a position on the initiative track, and every unit moves forward on the initiative tracks sort of at the same time. Whenever you use an ability, you move backwards on the initiative track by an amount equal to the cost of the ability. Let's throw a slicing dagger. What's the targeting for pick wounds? Just the front one, huh? Yeah, let's throw a slicing dagger at you. The double bite. Um, one quick moment today. Uh, quick. Yeah, one quick moment, Twitch chat. I'm gonna be right back. I gotta do something.
There we are. It's chat. All right, we're back. We are back. So, Assault Raider's up to act here. X does not do very much damage. But really more about the debuffs, anyway. We'll give him a stick to do. Bleed is that? 14? Good lord. Far too much damage. A powerful start. With our temp weapon, our uh, gabos don't do a whole lot of damage, though. Concerning. Most of our characters can only attack the front enemy, which means we don't get a whole lot of choice as to who's doing what. Could be a bit annoying. Our beast bane arrow does good damage on the hunter. Yield thyself. Okay, I almost got one down. Please intercept the next attack from this. <laughs> Banana Gob has the wrong traits for their job. Need more power on the raiders. Uh oh, don't die, fires again. <laughs> I need your arrows to kill wolves. than chop. Seems perfectly fine. But if the goblins walk up just to get hit, it's a great question. Hunters always die. Seems to be how it goes. Every hunter we have is mortally wounded currently. Every single one. Don't become dead. Small heal. Well, we knew it was a tough fight, but I think it ended up being a bit worse than expected. Trap going off. A 
And maybe we can kill it before it acts. A banana gob won't be able to kill it. Unless this will set up. Nah. Didn't think so. Thankfully, he just chooses to buff, so we don't get hit again. Alright, that was certainly a painful fight. An unpleasant encounter. Should probably stay away from more hard fights for now. Do get some heal items, though. We can use those to replenish the HP of the important people. Donis. Duker here. Speaking of... Somebody asked earlier, do we have any mine goblins? Yes, Adonis, as you can see, is a mine goblin. Uh, let's see, Lame Dooker, can we... We just can't make you do any more damage than this? That's a bummer. Commander. Along their path, the goblins chance upon their friend, the orc commander, en route to a neighboring outpost. Greetings are exchanged and a moment is shared to reconnect. The seasoned commander, veteran of innumerable clashes, regales the goblins with tales of battles past. A glint of curiosity shines in his eyes as he asks the goblins which chronicles from his vast repertoire might they most be inclined to hear. Why tales of strength, of course. I want plus four power. That's like four base damage. Eight crit chance is fine and all, but it's no, uh, it's no four power here. With enthusiasm, he seizes the opportunity to recount age-old tales of warfare, most of which conclude with vivid descriptions of how he either subdued or destroyed the myriad villains within his narratives. At last, he proceeds to demonstrate the very techniques he employed in these sagas, capturing the rapt attention of the goblins. Oh, and we get to upgrade abilities here. Sweet. Oh, and this is based on power? Which we just got plus four to. Yeah, look at the damage listed on Blood Rupture here. Um. Oh yeah, let's upgrade uh, Healing Chan. Improve. We only get one though, okay. We're definitely not taking another hard fight. I don't think that's a good idea. Actually, wait, yes I am. I have no choice in the matter. If I go top route, it's an easy fight, then a hard fight. If I go middle, it's just a hard fight. Well, heck. The weather still harbors divine magic. 25% more physical damage or 10% speed up. Both of those are really good. I'll take 25% of damage though, especially with our Great power up. We should hit really hard now. They depart. We might actually be fine in this hard fight. Yeah, we're gonna go the lower path. Here. Like that it indicates clearly which one I'm on. Because I want that smith. I just have to get through another three wolf fight. It's always three wolves. I do like that we get more wooden fiber. A decent harvest. Yeah, look at the damage. Look at that damage. 22. Slow this one. And 
time are potent medicines. No kidding. Done to Disputer, too. The first foe is slain. Want to die? Yeah. Otherwise, it bites uh, the next guy in line and kills our hunter. Can't have our hunter get killed. Yeah, our, our damage up makes this a much easier fight, as you can see. The hackballer also takes a mortal wound. deserves an answer. It's okay, because new goblins are very easy to come by. And we build up a resource called souls as our goblins expire. So it is meant to be. A double shot can hit the same enemy twice. Yep. Sure can. Good fight. Modest victories lead to great accomplishments. Nobody even died. We got more healing. Good. The mortally wounded people die, that's on them. The smith eyes their battered blades. Improve the ham. Fine work. Great ham. Forged on you. Deadly Ever ham. Craftsmanship. He fails to make deadly. Here than in battle. But great ham was had. I am cool with. I think we improved our rest sites, or maybe that doesn't quite have. Uh, maybe it didn't kick in yet. Welcomes the way worn. It didn't kick in yet. They repose for a moment by the warm flame. But we'll take the moderate heal. And I guess I'm going to go for the tougher fight here with treasure. And we get a guru too. Or we could take the normal fight and then get treasure and then don't have a guru. You know what? Let's just take the easier fight. Two damage. Some deadly ham. and time are potent medicines. Let's see, the phrasing is when hit, right? When damaged. Find out if this can trigger that. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Got them all in with one stab. They move on. I'll take it. How's it going, Galaros? Congrats on Divine Mastering all the cards in Monster Fray. Definitely not an easy uh, feat here. Percent chance to stun. A modest fortune. It's all whatever. They stuff their packs. I'm supposed to A save the orcs. Spite for the weary. I'm gonna go with these best tactics for this one. They rest and reflect upon the day's events. many people to retire now. Push the zombies. Good. There's no more. What does the mortal wound do? The mortal wound cuts their max health in half, and if a goblin who is mortally wounded gets dropped to zero health, then they do die permanently. Okay, that's kind of spooky. We're on the 1.2 patch now, but yeah, unfortunately, the fly sound still stacks with itself, which is why it's too loud. Killing the other zombies, we can mitigate the sound. Alright, well, you could have made better choices that led to your not dying uselessly, Mr. Ghoul, but you didn't. The taste of victory seldom grows stale. 
All that for ten bucks. A modest fortune. What do you run from, orc friends? Hey, I guess that's all we had to do. Two injuries. Lots of loot. And another quest complete. I'll take it. Let's see what the new day brings. Deal with the warden. Make him answer for Spend crimes the against the orcs. Okay, the campgrounds have been updated, so we now get more prospects, uh, prospects about, here. Eager for admittance. Lump Hooter. Mold Caster. There's a mine goblin. Rung Jigger. Song Healer. Do I enjoy playing old school D&D based RPGs? Definitely like uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, Icewind Dale. Uh, Icewind Dale 1 and 2. I'll give a big shout out to Temple of Elemental Evil. Still one of the best adaptations of D&D to a game engine that I've ever seen, and to my knowledge, one of the only D&D games that ever even tried to implement grappling, although I don't think it did so bug-free. Yeah, all these goblins are pretty mediocre. I don't think we're going to purchase or acquire any of them. Take the goods, though, buddy. What? I need a bigger larder? How dare you. Imp Indicate that my larder is not sufficiently large. Just what's needed. Yeah, I well described a sneaky snake. Temple of Elemental Evil is jank, but very good, which arguably describes all of the games that Troika made. You can make a second larder. Bone. What do we have right now? Oh, I see. It's a day though. Sell this too. An honest bargain. We can combine these also. Okay, that's not as big a problem as it looked. It's been faked out by our non stacked items. Just what's needed. Cool. So we still need a Guards Guild. Requires 15 fiber. I just spent some of our fiber. A strong lair requires a hardy lineage. Many will be born here. Got Clown, Clan Tracer and Dirk Craver. The Flabby Brutes. be a half decent shaman. An alert group. 
And yes, join us as a... A new trader, of course. Cool. Also gonna open some goblin names in the chat momentarily. They're free now Breed to some the new goblins. The makings of a strong brood. Sure. We could create from these pairings. Warren teams with new life. A proper barracks uh, can there. fuel a strong legion yeah. to many. Let me see them. Skeptic Brute. Interesting. They're both Skeptic Brutes. One is better than the other, though. May they prosper wherever they roam. June Miller. Welcome. Okay, let's get some names open. Twitch chat, if you would like to join the ranks of the goblins, now is your chance to redeem that through the channel point system. Let's open up six names. I think we have six unnamed goblins. So now's your chance, folks. I'll try to name the ones who don't have uh, permanent injuries here. Dean Miller, you're new. Oh, I see we're in the wrong place here. Alright, Grot Copper is definitely a random name. We'll go from top to bottom. Robot... The Neil. Welcome to the list. Mountain Sir. An appropriate vocation. Guzzle Monk. Hunters are all wounded, but looks like that's who I've got to name. Okay, so we'll give out names to some wounded hunters here. Survival not guaranteed, Omega Boom. Despus. Need a class, Tanfish. This better suits their temper. All raiders. And then Firezinger becomes Big Shadow. Cool. All right, let's, uh, I guess deal with the warden then. Get a boon. This could be tough, though. Act baller, you're out. Skeptic. Be a lucky skeptic. You have huge crit chance. Robot Daniel. Perfect. 
We can only have three of each class on the team. Oh, interesting. It's a new development. All right, in that case, Big Shadow. Well, we need less raiders for one, but... Wait, we, when we have four. Wait, what do you mean you can only have three of each class? We have four of raiders on this team. Oh, I see. We can't launch like this. That makes sense. We'll fine. What about tanned fish for... Do we just take a peon? Take a peon. Unless, wait, you're, unless you're telling me I can level up Wu here to something else. so far. What does the guard require? The guard room. Anyone with at least five spirit can become a shaman. I see. Not allowed a full raider party. It's true. We'll just take the peon then. Peons can throw rocks. They're fine. Good luck, everyone. The goblins hasten to the camp to search for survivors. The goblins rush to the aid of a young orc, buried in the wreckage of his own prison, too weak to escape. They struggle to help the orc from the rubble, determined to accord him a breath of free air to ease his suffering. At the sound of their harried summons, the old orc assists in freeing his trapped kinsfolk. The goblins are left bereft at the sight of the young orc's undeniably fatal injury. The weakened orc is overjoyed at the familiar sight of his savior, whom he addresses as Elder. He asks about the fate of the orc commander. Hopeful that their leader will safely escape this wretched camp. The old orc speaks with evident grief in his words. He confides that all who escaped with him have been killed, including his only son, the orc commander, whom he buried in the old woods. Dun dun dun. Tragic. Fortitude unshaken by the ill news, the injured orc hands over a scroll, stolen from the prison warden's chambers. Finding peace in this final affront to his halfling captors, he closes his eyes as his heart ebbs into silence. Agitation flares into fury. The prison warden must account for his vile act. Yeah. A respectable hall. Give that to Adonis. 20% max life. Probably also give that to Adonis. Add chance to slow on to Mountain Sir's weapon here. These orbs only last for the current mission. The blessing that made us do massive damage in the previous mission no longer applies. That's right, run, buddy. This is more than one ghoul, we're in big trouble. Okay, this is one. Not so big a problem, then. It's going to be weak to being uh, stunned and slowed, I imagine. Let's see if we can slow it. Slow makes it move across the movement bar a bit slower. Hey, 
Excellent strike. We can shove it, move it back on the initiative bar, or try to stun it. Try shoving it. Especially with the slow, that's actually quite effective. Let's see if we can get bleed on it. It's got high bleed resist, but it would activate some of our other attack abilities, like blood rupture. Slow it again? No. Done it now. Also no. Alright. It gets to act, but it just howls, so it doesn't actually get to act. Wiki wiki works if it's slowed. Alright, very easy first fight. That's good. Foolish creatures. Nine foodstuffs. Okay, that's good. Gonna help us throughout this mission, hopefully. The goblins assembled to hunt this ruthless warden. They give pause at the looming appearance of a malevolent white enshrouded in shadow. It slowly writhes forth, hunting the same quarry. Cowering under the creaking gallows, the sniveling warden mules for help. The white, sensing the goblin's presence, abandons the halfling in favor of more suitable prey. The Shadow White, Horror of the Woods. That's 250 health. It's quite a boss. Immune to being pushed, almost immune to being bled. Pretty resistant to stuns. That's nasty. And two magic armor, but no physical armor. The Wiki Wiki does more damage than Chop, I believe. The Blood Rupture looks like the best at 19 here. I guess Hex is the only thing I can use here. Oh, we did get the slow, that worked out. Can't be pushed, but can be stunned. Curse of the Meek. An enemy skull is summoned each time you use an ability that costs two or less. So you want to use three cost abilities here, or we're going to get enemies. Spooky. Wiki Wiki works, though. A bold attack. It's not good. Healing is amplified. Interesting. A precise assault. Alright, so you hit him with a stone. Eventually, that's gonna work. Okay, we got a new curse.
the Life Shock should deal double damage to you. Uh. Right? Where did that heal it? Confused by what just happened. Should have looked at the health total. Oh, this is new curse. Life shock did damage, okay. Damage oh that's just being tired. Okay, so now it's the opposite. An enemy skull is summoned each time we use an ability costing three or more. Interesting. Let's try a redraw. Not that I have anything to redraw. Guess I'll take a skull then. Exploding skull. It is specifically an exploding skull. It is deeply concerning. It is vulnerable to being bled, thankfully. Hmm. I can't not use any of these abilities. I have to click on one and get another skull summoned here. This is concerning. Skulls have burning noises that are stacking. <laughs> this is also not good. All right, I guess we smack to avoid summoning a skull. Okay, that's better. She wouldn't heal for so much. This does big damage. We establish. Yes, it does pretty big damage. One time I don't get wakey wakey. Whatever, just hit him. Healing stuns it. Uh, healing damages it, and then the heal that we have stuns the target regardless of what it is. So it's just that it was a, a heal stun ability. You have no curse. Still the best, though. Yeah, he's got a lot of health. Definitely makes for a long fight here. Oh, that skull's gonna get to go. Okay, that's not so bad. It's definitely bad, but not like... Too, too bad. Sixteen guaranteed. We'll take the sixteen. Victory is but a stone's throw away. Summon skulls normally, also. Okay. Don't love that, but uh, we don't get a choice. Deeply abused here. And slow the skull. <laughs> oh, 
definitely our fate. Three or more summons a thing, so don't use three or more. You're not cursed. We're going to need all those healing items we got. The Neil is mortally Almost wounded and will please. die when a skull explodes. There's not much I can do about that. Might lose more than one person here, in fact. one at least. <laughs> Rip Robot Daniel. Shame. I was fond of that one. However, that does make everybody angry, meaning they'll do more damage for a bit. <laughs> one of the bonuses of having a goblin die. Okay, can I stop the skull from exploding? Probably not. Well, maybe. It's unfortunate. Did not have what it took to take this fight on. And the curse is so annoying. AoE attacks in this game? Yes, there are. Although not that all that not all that common though. Okay, we beat the boss. The warden emerges from hiding. He gibbers on incoherently in a miserable attempt to impart gratitude. Gazing closely upon his countenance, the goblins mark him as one of the adventurers in the dungeon who stole their supplies and killed their kin. Begging for clemency, most undeserved, the warden barters for his life, offering his personal cachet of treasure. With a growing sense of pity for the crusty-nosed halfling, the goblins cannot muster the spite to strike him down. At the sight of their hesitation, the Warden seizes the chance to scamper off into the dark, leaving his treasure behind. Good. Reluctant to further distress the old orc, the goblins decide to keep the Warden's escape amongst themselves. Without disclosing its source, they reveal the Warden's cachet to the orc. 
Cautiously, he kneels and opens the chest with great care. Beneath the gym cracks, baubles, gym cracks. and copious amounts of cheese. I don't think I've ever seen that word before. A suit of orcish armor, amounts of cheese. Accompanied by a single in audit helmet. He gazes at length upon the object before cradling it to his chest. It is the helmet of his dead son, the Orc Commander. Through the smoldering ruins, the old Orc surveys what remains of his people. A series of ragged, leaderless, and broken souls. The Orcs gaze back at him with doleful eyes. He finds his grief replaced. By an ebullition of fervor. And the ebullition. I love when games get new vocab in my direction. The elder two words. Dons the helmet to once again One assume the mantle of commander. A title he left behind many years before. At the sight of their commander, the orcs rally to their leader. He marches them north to their home deep within the hinterland. Unknown force, thanks for the prime sub in the nine months. Of support. All right, let's see if uh, there's anything else I have to fight. No, it's the exit. Okay. There's two fights. We get an imbued bone. For a shaman, we lost two brave goblins, although we do get three souls for it. I'll take it. GG. The old orc pays a surprise visit to his dear friends, the goblins. He is joined in company by a merry band of orcs, reveling in their newfound freedom. As the goblins step forth to welcome them, cheers and chants erupt from the joyous crowd. Hand in hand, they affirm the start of a timeless friendship between orc and goblins. They aver that their newfound alliance, tempered by the bonds of battle and goodwill, will never wane. During the ensuing revelry, the goblins are invited to visit the green shores to bear witness to the genesis of a new orc capital. Chapter 3 Queer Incidents A new day dawns. Is it the orc stronghold? The acolyte class, an acolyte, has wandered into our campgrounds. The acolyte plays a support role by recovering lost life for its allies. That is until it feels the rare urge to bludgeon an opponent with divine fury. Pong rigger. How Six one four. Sword the distinguished. Oh yeah, this is a. This is a goblin to join us with. We don't need mind. Oh, I see. We got to recruit you first. I have high hopes for this one. And then Veal Weaver is a rookie guard. I think Gash Balker makes a better guard. Oh, I see our barracks is full. A proper barracks can fuel a strong legion for many generations. Yeah, I 
have the ability to upgrade the barracks. The, yeah, gross. the larder is better now. Hey, what's the merchant have today? Legend for bandits or acolytes. Ooh, an imbued carcass with plus five power. I'm definitely going to buy that. A fair trade. I just sold a weapon. What do you mean I don't have room? So confused. power for a raider. Okay, we got some good weapons here. This is also 11 power for a raider. The gray weapons are meaningless anyways. I thought as much. Oh, and we can give the large bone to that guy too. Good. And this is a plus two armor shield for a guard. Okay, those are great. An honest bargain. Or did they? I think they're still outside, actually. Okay, burned a nibbler, not good enough here. Eager are welcome. I don't have the guard room. I see. So I can't make guards. Okay, recruit the new guard then. Prospects Go loiter about, eager for admittance. Okay, better weapons will definitely make us better at future explorations here. Give this to Banana Gob. Guzzle. It's an improvement. Feels weird for the ham to be uh, finally no longer the best weapon.
Got a pretty good roster. Play the barracks also. Unlock a new ability here. I don't like these ones. What about the human guilds? Give an ally haste. Pretty good, actually. Let's lose Sticky Hoodoo and gain the haste one. I'll take the AoE. Let us put this new skill to the test. The Soul Gale is arguably better in some ways. Hmm. Can't pick this up because our armory is full. Sell that now. Just what's needed. Okay. Let's do another expedition here. What's this? For an adventure. There's something indicated here, but I'm not sure what it means. This will be going to Greenshaws. We're taking Song Rigger, Handfish, Adonis, of course. Let's go with Veal Weaver, our new guard. Question mark is an unknown boss. Interesting. This looks good. Continuous roads remain uncharted. Yeah, we have the right weapon. They humbly seek the stone for its blessing. Are any of our goblins wounded? I can't remember. I think our mystic is. They revel in the shrine's blessing. No, they just have low body. Okay, well, that didn't do anything then. Oh, well. These will be put to good use. Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. Dinky humans. Yeah, these guys are low level. We've dealt with their like before. Shouldn't be any problems at all. and time are potent medicines. I don't understand why Song Rigger doesn't have armor. Let's 
Right, the large bone says armor plus five, so where's my five armor? Weird. Swift mend. When prayer's done, all allies heal. Okay. Bonk him. Only physical classes can have armor. Magical classes can only have magic armor. Oh. I see. Not apply to magic users. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. But lesson learned. Attack is ignored. That's a very good. Weapons sheathed, they trundle on. Guru Smithy or Event Shop. This will do Guru Smithy. skills, for they will be tested. Shorter prayer. Interesting. Mm, sure. An improvement. This is twice as strong. Practice makes the warrior. An improvement. No need to sharpen their blades. They will soon need them. Oh, I see. It's not quite 2x, because life's shock scales with both power and spirit. Fair Forged enough. On you. Evident craftsmanship. Finely honed ham. some actual class synergy going on now. Remove all status effects. So I can remove the... Yeah, that's a lot of bleed. Sounds quite good.
Game looks mildly Darkest Dungeon-ish any good? I like it. It's got it's got some flaws, certainly. There's definitely some glitches. Some design door spots, but it's an enjoyable game for sure. Goblins are the very embodiment of survival. Ready for the tea. fight has given us quite a few mortal wounds in the past. Fifth Mend is way better, right? We can bonk. Bleed still kicked in though, that's rude. Ooh, and poisons. Ow. Kill this wolf, so let's intercept this wolf. Kill the wolf. Down with you. Being able to distribute the damage a bit better is definitely helping. Poor Banana Gob doesn't contribute a whole lot. Can't say I love it. Not use this ability. Interesting. Have to bash.
that. With a chop. Precise assault. Yeah, five to all looks good. Ooh, the crits. Or maybe it's double if they're low on health? I don't remember. This prevents 16 damage. Stunned. Good. No wounds that time. They advance their cause. Got a bit of a better party. We the end though. Yeah. These footpaths now seem a little more familiar. Scouting adventures are shorter. Let's see what the new day brings. This no. edition will prove useful. The armory is upgraded, oh, yeah. and so Good. is the barracks. Cool. Well, power axe. An honest bargain. Have these. A fair trade. Those two. Just what's needed. Lots of slots. So you want to save up for the guards guild. More fiber and wood. I have a lot to work with at the moment, so I don't think we can get any major upgrades or anything. Let's just go again. There's the orc stronghold. Or we could scout the Blightwood. Let's do the Orc Stronghold. 500 gold for that. Pretty happy with the current team. Pretty happy with the current team. Although, what about Banana Gob? you're flabby. That's your problem.
That'll do. Now they should do a bit more damage. Seems good. What does Flabby do? Makes them um, tougher, but less damaging. It's kind of a weak trade-off. I don't know what the Frowny Shrine does. Although Double Harvest is also really tempting. Give me a Frowny Shrine. Toxic fumes. Just take damage. Just three. I don't think any three added up to twenty, so that was a guaranteed fail anyway. It's great promises. I see. Banana Gob, I'm willing to lose you. I roll for plus six on you. Their power grows. Imbued. 43% chance we're not going to do, though. Okay, so that's the Frowny Shrine. I understand. Bottom path? There's a second variant that gives power? Ooh. Juicy. Power is good stuff. Good work, Adonis. A crippling strike. damage. Excellent 
strike. The unsavory lot will bother them no more. Nature's bounty picked clean. Those are Nothing good, but I was hoping for more wooden wasted. fiber. Yeah, I really like the combat design, or the, uh, yeah, the combat system in this game. Less thrilled with the encounter design, but uh, the, the core system of combat is very cool. Cases are not as innocent as they appear. Cherubic faces, huh? Prudence and time are potent medicines. You're telling me you're... They're good at stunning. Oh no, the stacked stuns. A tough life. seem like they'd be really annoying support enemies, but there's nothing for them to support. So they're just kind of being annoying. Good. Down with you. Good, I say. Exceptional skill. <laughs> nice try, nerd. What do they even have the knives for? That's a good question. I'd like that AOE heal to go off. Reset the existing one? Okay. <laughs> that was not helpful. Rip that guy. Vile cretins. Duly noted. Alright, give me the tough fight. Let's see how we do. Three wolves and a spider. Let's do it. 
Oh, the spider's big. Wasn't prepared for that. Clean you. Okay, we got bled big time. But a poison ain't too bad. Here's the bleed. Away with you. Prudence dictates caution. Tempting. I'm going to go for the heal, though. We get bonus damage on all of them. We can draw it. Can use pick wounds, which adds more bleed stacks as well. Cascade, thanks so much for the prime sub and the 10 months. Appreciate me and the content that I provide the, to the community. Glad to hear it. You keep watching and I'll keep streaming. How's that sound? Sounds like a deal to me. All right, give a swift man to Tanfish here. Broke a better AOE heal. That one. That's right. Ti oh, that's right. Tired allies. Anybody who's in the three section gets a double heal, not low health. Tired is the criteria there. And I can crit too.
Die Chopper, thanks for the prime sub in the 37 months. Though unpleasant, it's entirely necessary. Get some orbs, 20 crits, 20 life per kill. He found an ogrish artifact worth a thousand gold. And some healing here. Excellent. Let's uh, cash these in. Twenty crit, put that on Adonis. Adonis crit. And he left a kill make the final battle of the map easy enough, if indeed there is a final battle. Got any new hunters? What are you, a duck rocker, an acolyte, another acolyte. Thick-blooded acolyte. Ooh, plus two spirit is a really good trait, actually. Open mine, mine plus two, max life plus seven. We're starting to see some better genetic traits. These are really good. Although, how are you a shaman with zero mine, two spirit? Doesn't make any sense. All right, Duck Rocker, you may come with us. Don't rock the duck. I'm come back to town, thanks. See you at the lair. And I actually have money for this shop. That's kind of cool. What's up, buddy? Fine work. Or orbs. Damage to undead. Five life per attack. I'll buy that. I will also buy your materials here. Can't trade all of that. Although we can sell the ogre relic to this fellow. And we can. A fair trade. Alright, who wants five health per hit? Good on the guard. I'll put it on Tanfish. Okay, that should make the rest of this pretty easy. Take the minerals, although another goblin's half decent. Bears its fruit.
Squish the spooter. <laughs> just flying to the back. That's cute. Very cute. Bleed too. Remove that bleed. A shattering blow. Even better crit. Assault. Uh, better make sure this dies. Encounter. We don't even need enough healing to want to not rest here. Or uh, we don't need any healing, so we can Phrase get the of tranquility and rest. Bar and train plus two power. I like that. They repose for a And then we have another rest site, so we get another buff before the boss. We'll take a heal too. From our items, that is, the healing. Since we have meat, just one. But we can heal uh, Songrigger here. Do I think loot from battle should just come after battle? Yeah, I think you should just directly open the the inventory. A cozy fire welcomes the wayworn. Five percent combat speed up will help too. They settle in, weary of the road. So we face a boss. What is the boss? They confront the ah, three wolves and a spider. To its terror. But one of the wolves is bigger. Ripper. Ninety-six health. All right, sure. We also got two armor. No stun resist, though. It's a good time to hex. Actually, we should get rid of the Timberwolf B. Wakey time, it is not. Hmm. 
Now it's wiki wiki time. Well, the armor did block some of that. Holy crap. Rip Sky. At least that removed the bleed. Otherwise they would have died instantly. But yes, the big wolf hurts. Perhaps to the surprise of no one. in front gets destroyed. Okay, can I do Ripper next? Let's intercept on Ripper. Guy, can you save your own life? You could, but you might want to hex the enemy instead. Let's remove that. You're intercepting. Heal three? 25 bleed damage coming your way. What? Too much. Mortally wounded by the bleeding. And in dire condition. Tough life, man. Not much I can do when you get bleeded for 25, though. Such is the nature of boss fights. And we're out of here. The imposing creature is gone, hopefully never to return. Toodaloo. It's just that easy. The goblins arrive at the Orcish stronghold. Awed by such a prodigious undertaking, a colossal bastion rises around them. Their ears met with sonorous drumming as hammers fall and stone is set.
The orcs hail their coming, with greetings bellowed from atop brickworks and towers. Once settled, the orc commander brings out a familiar charred scroll. The very same parchment bequeathed to him by his dying kinsman at the prison camp. It states that the orc stone, a precious of course, relic <laughs> there's also an orc stone. Lost to legend, well, that just makes sense. Located. There is no seal to show whose hand appears upon the missive. Recalling the fallen young orc who pilfered it from the warden's quarters, the orcs are certain that the letter is of great import. However, before they can spare any effort to reclaim the orc stone, they must first focus on reuniting the fragmented orcish tribes scattered across the hinterlands. The Orc Commander explains his plan to reunify the settlements beneath the banner of a single stronghold. He spreads an old, tattered map upon the table and presses a finger over the village of Brightwood. The goblins offer to travel there as emissaries to deliver the joyous news that their leader has returned to call them home. Lots of loot. Lots of leather and bone, especially. A new day dawns. You got the orcs of Brightwood and invite them to the new stronghold. Is our current quest. Only the keen and eager are welcome. Team power, not too bad. Really special there. An honest bargain. Is it going despot? Thanks for 27 months. You're actually catching us just at the end of stream here. As it is time we lay down our goblin arms for the day. And indeed laid down our stream for the week. We will be back Tuesday Twitch chat, not later than noon Eastern time. Be back in the Spire on Tuesday, and uh, let's see, next week, probably a fair bit of Slice and Dice. I do plan on continuing Goblin Stone. We'll see what else I can fit in there. So long and farewell, Killer Sheep, Pete Douglas, Robot Daniil, Ratchet Power, and everybody else. Until next time, my friends, stay cozy and have a good one. Toodaloo, and good night.